Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Angel Queen, and this is Angel Queen's Triumph. Today we are going to be marinating some ribs, baby. So, I promised that I was going to do this um, last night. However, when I got back, my back was hurting way too much. And... All I wanted to do was eat and get some sleep. But, even though everyone's awake, nephew's in the shower, mom's in her room, I figured I'll do it now instead of trying to wait till tonight. So right now we just have them in the sink. I'm gonna take them out the pack. I already cleaned the sink out. Always wash the sink because you don't want any more bacteria than already is on raw meat. Okay, we've got a nice big slab here that I'm going to be cutting in three pieces. Okay, so here we are. I'll put that right there for the time being. Save some water. And now having the uh, purifier on here. I don't need to use apple cider vinegar to clean this. I'm just going to rinse it with plain water. Give it a nice little rinse. Remember guys to only use cold water. Do not use hot water on your meat. Whether you're thawing it, cleaning it, because it will partially start to cook and that is no good. Okay, that should go. And I have this big pot right here. Everything is just gonna be done inside this big pot. The cutting up and the seasoning. So like I said, we're gonna do three decent slabs and these will later on go on the um, grill most likely on Saturday so they'll be marinating today is um, oops. today is Thursday so they're gonna be marinating for two full days And any noise you may hear in the background, please forgive me in advance. But I gotta get this done while the getting's good. And my medicines, by the way, have not showed up yet, so. I got a call this morning saying they couldn't fill my um, 81 milligram aspirin that I would have to do that like at an actual store, um, supermarket or pharmacy or whatever and actually pay for it. It's like $10. But my mom already gave me some of hers because she takes them as well. And so I wasn't really tripping about that, but I also realized they hadn't sent it out yet either because they were waiting for that confirmation on whether or not I wanted to pay for them. All right. <sighs> So we got them chopped up now. Let's bring them back up here. Okay. And you guys know my seasonings. It's going to be the same seasonings that I always use. The minced garlic, the ricotta, low sodium. I do have the regular of this, but it's only because I couldn't find this one, but I have enough to use this one with the ribs. And of course the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I just call that Lee and Perrin. That's the name of it, Lee and Perrin, so I just call it that, not Worcestershire sauce. But, um, and then of course our packet of Saison. We're gonna need two of those. And this time around, we're also going to be putting some light brown sugar. After they're done cooking, 
we're going to just put that in the water and reduce it down and then later on when it goes on the grill we'll put the regular barbecue sauce that we normally use you guys know me i do not measure and this is going to get a little messy because i am going to be using my hands to rub everything on so And this is like light work. Now the last time I did some ribs, I don't know why I skipped this particular step. Um, I just ended up throwing the ribs. Maybe I was just too lazy, I don't know. But I just ended up throwing the ribs on the um, grill. They didn't come out horrible, but at the same time, um, that's not how I do it, so. definitely wasn't to my liking okay and now we're just going to slather these babies in the sauce front and back now when I watch Kent survival uh, that's the guy I told you that does, um, Andy is his name. He does tent videos, um, bushcraft, and he cooks in most of them. And he was doing smoked ribs in a smokehouse that he had built. And um, he was putting mustard and brown sugar, cilantro, I believe, or no, coliander, I think is what he called it. Um, he put the... What's gonna call it? What else? Of course, the brown sugar. I didn't see any honey being used. But, um, something else he used paprika, and I think um, cumin. Cumin. I remember him using cumin. But I don't make my own barbecue sauce, I use baby rays. So that's the one I'll be using for this as usual. I already have some made up sauce that has uh, some of the ingredients I just put on these ribs in it. And I'll also be basting the ribs with that. That way, waste not, want not kind of thought processing there. All right, and we're gonna give these guys a little poke. I'm gonna stab them up, baby. So let's get to stabbing. I want that flavor all up inside of here. Now I do know, I've seen where he pulled off this um, backing. That's another thing too. I'm leaving it on because it's going to be boiling and I also want most of the juices to stay in. And as you guys see, I did not use any oil this time. So the backing should help keep um, the juices inside the meat so that's the reason I'm not taking it off of this all right we got a nice little stab going on there both front and back I think they call that skin in the back the membrane if I'm not mistaken so that would be like this white piece here Then we are going to toss this baby on the fire and let that marinate. 
hook into it that way. And then we'll leave it overnight in the fridge. And like I said, it'll be overnight tonight, overnight Friday night, and almost all day on Saturday. And then we'll cook it. So what we're gonna do now is just add some water. And this will probably be the only thing I do measure. I'll use about, um, let's say three cups. Let's go put this on the fire. In the PM. And I normally don't use this front burner on this side, but I will because this is just going to be boiling. So I'm gonna start it off on high. Put the lid on. Oops, I turned the wrong one on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Put the lid on. And we're going to bring that to a boil. And then we're going to reduce the heat. And let it simmer itself down. And as you can see, it's getting ready to come to a boil doesn't take very long And they say a watched pot never boils. <laughs> now 
right, let's put the lid back on it and reduce the heat. And we're going to just leave that to do what it does, which is basically soften up the meat. We'll be back when it's time to add the brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. And what we got going on right now is called a rolling boil. I'm going to turn that meat over. Very difficult to do this with one hand, not holding the pot handle. And I would put the tripod down, but I just need it to be like so, so it's not going to be. Turn the heat down. This is the one we have on high, medium, low, and I have it just above the medium, going towards the low. Okay, I topped it off with another cup of water and put it back on a high boil, so we're going to reduce that again. So far, so good. And now we just let that boil all the way down 
no more water needs to be added. You see the meat's moving away from the bone, so that's good and tender, nice and juicy. And we just leave it like this to simmer all the way down, and then we'll add the brown sugar, and we'll put it away in the fridge to let it marinate for the next two nights. When that goes on the grill, mm, 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 mm. that's going to be something else. Just cover it over all the way, and it will still come every once in a while. And check it. That'll be that. All right, just checking it. Still boiling down. Let's see if we need to give it a little flip here. Oh yeah, that's falling off the bones now. Mm -hmm. There we are. That's what we want to see. Okay, looking good. And we'll come back when it's time to add the brown sugar and put it away. To marinate the rest of the way in the fridge. So 308. So we're doing real good. All right. This is boiling down nicely. I'm also going to add turmeric. I love the fact that turmeric does not have any, any scent or flavor to it, but it's very good for you. So, put some turmeric in there. And we got the brown sugar. Put a nice little chunk in there. And finish letting it cook down because the meat is so damn tender at this point that it's literally falling off the bone, and I don't want it to do that so that I can get some decent slabs to put on the grill. Sugar in here, so I'll let that go in there like that. The tumor, you see, it's falling off the bone. You barely pick it up. There we go. Get that turned over. I'm not going to worry about the pieces at the bottom because they are obviously very submerged in liquid. Put that the rest of the way down. Lid back on. Not all the way. And we'll leave it at that. I got some bad news about my medicine arriving today. Called back the pharmacy to see approximately when it should be arriving. She told me one to two days.
because it just got sent out this morning. However, Okeechobee, where it's coming from, is not far from here. But I'm assuming it's because they have lots of people to deliver to. So I took some Advil PMs for my back. This time I took five because I've been going all day without any pain meds just because I didn't want to put anything in my system. I didn't even eat either. I didn't want to put anything in my system if I was going to be taking the pain meds and I have to take it with food. But now I already took the Advil PM so even if it was to arrive today on some fluke, I wouldn't be able to take it. But that's it, that's all that's going down right now. Once this medication kicks in, I'm gonna be good and tired. And tomorrow I'll go do my um lab work, get my lab work done. And hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. Turn that down just a tad bit. And let's go watch some more Kent Survival. Alright everybody, this is done. And as you can see, bones. So, it is absolutely falling off the bones. So what I'm going to do now is just put them in this container. You know how we do recycling. You see that recycling right there with that country crop bowl? It's old school stuff. I don't know if anybody ever does this anymore because they're all into Tupperware, Glad Tupperware and this and that. I still do the old school, keep old bowls and stuff from other things and use them. So that's what's happening here. Now you guys seen I had done three um, cuts in the meat, but as you can see the meat is falling off of the bones. I don't want that because, I, like I said, I'm putting it on the grill on Saturday. Um, but I have to deal with it because that's what happened. So I'm trying to keep them as whole as possible. All right. Get this last nice big chunk here. Can I take that bone off? Yes, I can take this bone off. Okay. And then I'm going to take and pour this gravy all over it. Stick it in the fridge and it will, whoops, that just, yep, you see that? <laughs> Fell right off there. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way. All right, let me get this piece of meat here. <laughs> okay, actually, I don't need that bone. All right. And then we are going to call it a day. Is it that is all sweeties all right, let me get these two bones out of here my wrist is killing me right now all right we got that done I'm gonna stick this here for a second because I gotta dump this liquid so give me a second I'm gonna set you guys right here for just a moment while I take care of that. That's mama. Mm -hmm. Say hello, mama. Hey, hello. <laughs> All right, Oops. let me take that off the head before it falls over. All right. Did I come out in the picture? Did I come? Yep, don't oh, worry about it. Oh, I didn't realize that. I tell you, this is a cooking video. It's not really uh, like... When I'm doing the, um, when I'm doing the tent, then I have to describe so much and how it takes longer. So, and now that, like I said, I'm setting up and pushing things down with my hands and it hurts. And so if I have to keep doing it over and over again, it's a problem. But when I'm cooking, there's nothing I have to do over again. It's cooked. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I don't care about that. 
Oh, no, 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 like major, you just was in the, you were just by the fridge, it wasn't like you were in the camera, like, oh, okay. All right, so, uh, let me get a top for that, and the turmeric made that yellow, but this is going to be slamming, guys, trust me when I tell you. Wish I could share it with y'all, but I don't really honestly believe I'll share it with anyone. It's good karma when I say that. I think you should put my back. That's how instant karma works. When you say something bad, not godly, you get a shock up your back. Or at least. That's how God handles it with me. Now, I'm not going to put this in the fridge just like that right yet because it is too hot. Some meat fell. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. When that cools off, it's going in the fridge. So that is everything, everybody. Hope you liked it. Please like, share, subscribe. Get back at your girl. And leave a comment down below. Let me see how you do your barbecue ribs. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye-bye.